Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on Monday, September 23rd. So last week we saw S&P break out to a new all-time high uh, pretty strongly on Friday, or Thursday. It held those gains on Friday. There was a brief pullback right to the breakout area at 56.70, and then we bounced higher from there. <clears throat> so all of that action confirms the new uh, all-time highs, it confirms a breakout, and as a result, we are now establishing a core long position. Um, not all the indicators are in agreement with that, but one that is, is the uh, McMillan volatility band buy signal that has a target up around 5,800. So that's what we're looking for as the uh, next stop, I guess you might say. Uh, but equity-only put call ratios have rolled over to sell signals uh, both obvious to the naked eye on their charts, as, as well as the fact that the um, computer analysis programs are also saying they're on sell signals. There's a bit of a, um, you know, a, a quirk with the moving averages there, I think, but still, uh, when those things are on sell signals, that's not, not particularly great, although uh, not everything is going to be in agreement all the time. Bread has been very positive, and we have uh, our breadth oscillators still on buy signals. They're a little bit in overbought territory, but that's not a problem with S&P also uh, breaking out to new all-time highs. New highs are swamping new lows every day. That's also a bullish sign. In, uh, in terms of VIX, we have the split uh, indicator, as we've had for quite a while. The spike peak buy signal is in place. But so is a trend of VIX sell signal. So we actually have positions regarding both of them. Um, the, the spike peak buy signal position is more in the money, whereas the sell signal has some out of the money puts associated with it. Uh, the construct of volatility derivatives, it's uh, mostly positive if you're looking at the CBOE volatility indices, but not quite so uh, positive if you're looking at the VIX futures. In any case, uh, it's not giving a sell signal at this time. There are some concerns about market volatility after the election. Um, you know, we don't usually have a lot of volatility, uh, but, you know, maybe we will this time. There, certainly people are kind of banking on it. They're paying up for options that expire uh, right after the election. This particular week is a seasonally negative week in that the market typically uh, falls after the third Friday in September, it falls for a week. Um, that's pretty much starkly in contrast with the new high breakout, but the new high breakout uh, is an intermediate term thing, not a, not a one week thing. So overall, um, I invite you to visit our website, take a look at our daily letters where we uh, keep a track of these things in a more timely manner. And uh, meanwhile, have a great week trading.